Dealing with 3D models can be tricky, especially when downloading them from the web. Lots of things can go differently than expected. This tutorial will go through some of the main issues that can occur when uploading 3D models to Cospace's EDU and how to fix them. Let's use the free software Blender to fix problems with downloaded 3D models. Note that this won't teach you how to make your own 3D models. You'll also need a program to edit MTL files. Download Notepad++ for free if you're on a PC, or use the Text Edit app if you're on a Mac. 3D models can be uploaded to Cospaces in the following supported formats FBX, OBJ, and STL. For the textures, you can use TGA, PNG, or JPEG. Always make sure that your 3D model and texture files are in the same folder. Let's download Blender for free from the official website. Go to blender.org and download Blender for your operating system. Then follow the instructions to install it onto your computer. To import your 3D model into Blender, click File Import and choose the format you want to import. Let's go through the main problems your model might have and what you can do to solve them. Is your object appearing too big or too small in Cospace's EDU? Perhaps you can't even see it? In Blender, open the right menu to see the scale of your object. Press S to scale it to a better size and click Object, Apply, Scale to apply this scale. When you're done making adjustments to your model, you'll need to export it again. Go to File, Export, FBX, click Export, and upload it again to Cospace's EDU. Is your 3D model turned the wrong way? In Blender, reset the rotation to all zero. If the rotation is already at all zero, but the object still turned, Press A twice to select everything and turn your object to orient however you like. Then click Object, Apply, and Rotation. Did you code your object to move forward or want it to move along a path in Cospaces but suddenly see it sidewards or backwards? That's an issue with the orientation of your imported object and can be fixed in Blender. The initial orientation of an object must always point to the plus Y direction. Is your model halfway sunk in the ground or even underneath? You'll need to change its pivot point. The easiest way to do this is to move your model as far as needed and click Object, Snap, Cursor to World Origin. Done? Now click Object, Set Origin and Origin to 3D Cursor. Are some parts of your object transparent or is its backside visible but not the front? That can be caused by normals pointing in the wrong direction. In Blender, activate Normals Orientation and look at your model. Did some faces turn to red? Then these faces are oriented inwards leading to unwanted effects in Cospaces. Switch to Edit Mode and select All Faces and click Mesh, Normals, Recalculate outside to reorient the texture's faces. Or go to Mesh, Normals, Flip if you need to flip some of them by hand. Is your texture not showing and your object appearing white instead? Drag and drop the FBX model and texture files together into Cospaces. If you're using an OBJ file, drag and drop the OBJ, the MTL, and the textures together. Without the MTL, the textures won't appear. Also note that STL files don't support textures. If the texture still doesn't show, there could be a problem with your MTL file. Use an application like Notepad++ to edit the MTL file. 
Right-click the MTL file and choose Edit with Notepad++ or use the TextEdit app on a Mac. Scroll down to the line starting with MapKD and change it to the texture's name. If you don't have an MTL file, create one by importing and exporting your model from Blender. If the texture is still invisible, open your model in Blender. Switch to the Shading tab and select your model to see the material assigned to it. Then, drag and drop the image texture and connect it like this. Is there already a texture? Let's check whether the right texture is connected. Click this icon and open your image texture. Does your model look too bright, dark, shiny, or just not as you expected? You'll want to add or adjust the principal texture shader in Blender. Set the roughness to 1 and the specular to 0 to avoid any shininess on your model. Set the emission strength to 0 to display the true colors of the texture. Is your model upload never-ending? Then it's probably a size issue. Your 3D models shouldn't go over 50 megabytes. Try to find out what's making your file so heavy. Are the textures very big? Does your model have a very high amount of polygons? That's often the case with 3D scans. You can reduce the size of your textures with an image editing software and by using JPEG instead of PNG files. You can reduce the amount of polygons by using the Decimate modifier in Blender. Select your model and click this icon to add a modifier. Choose Decimate and try to set lower values for the ratio. Note that Blender can get slow in this process as it tries restructuring your model. Test how low you can go without altering its look completely. Some 3D formats like Collada, for example, aren't supported by Cospaces. To convert a 3D model to a different format, import it into Blender, then export your object to FBX. Uploading your 3D model to Cospaces should now work fine. Have fun creating!